Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I do have quite a busy day ahead of me. I have to get gas, car wash, I have to make some returns, I have to ship something out. I have a lot of cleaning at home that I need to get done and then just some prep work for the rest of the week. So it's gonna be quite a bit. I'm hoping I can get it all done today, but if not, we can't always carry it until tomorrow morning. So it's 12 o'clock right now. I have no plans today, so we should be good. And yeah, hopefully we can get everything done. I haven't unpacked yet from Big Bear, so I kind of just have this pile of things kind of laid out here. That's gonna be one of the things that I have to get done today is cleaning all this up and putting it away. I also haven't made my bed just because I do plan on washing my sheets today, just kind of doing a little bit of a reset as well. And then for my outfit today, I kind of went with a little bit of a tomboy vibe just because I felt like being really comfortable. So I'm wearing this t-shirt that I've had for years. I got it at Urban Outfitters. I don't even know how long ago to be honest, but I feel like everyone has this shirt, so it's not really anything special i'm wearing my men's jeans that i thrifted with my yellow sambas i figured this would be a nice touch of color especially because we are fully into spring and it is super windy by my area today fingers crossed that the weather gets better this is the fit for today i am gonna go ahead and make my smoothie really quickly and then we'll cut out the door okay so we are officially out the door i have my giant smoothie I also have my water with my probiotic in here and then I have all of my returns that I have to make but because I'm going to be driving all over the place and my gas light is about to turn on any minute now I'm going to go get gas at Costco and then I think I'm going to work my way I'm going to kind of make like a little bit of a circle so I'm going to go to Costco and get gas I'm going to do the car wash towards the end once I start to get rid of things here because I have like I said returns to make so I'm going to make my way to Home Depot. I have a return there. I have a return to make at Kohl's just because it's an Amazon return. And then those are the only two there. I do have to stop at Target and Staples. I think I'll just go straight to Staples because I need a box because I'm trying to ship a giveaway prize that I did. So the one that I have is too small. So I'm just gonna go to Staples. I need to get one more thing that's part of the gift. And then I have to go to the post office. We'll figure it out. I don't really know how Home Depot's return policies work, but I just realized right now I don't have my receipt on hand. So I'm hoping they can at least look it up through the card that I use or something. I know most places do that now, so I guess we'll figure it out. Okay, thank God I was in and out of there so quickly. There was no line. I just really hope the rest of the day goes this smoothly. I didn't need a receipt. They said I could just use the card, so it went back on there. I got like $60 back, so that was pretty cool. I officially left Staples and I got the box that fit perfect. Sorry. Um, yeah, I got a box that fit everything perfectly. It was only like $2. The post office might be towards the end. So for now that I'm in that direction and the same shopping center is Sephora and Barnes and Noble. So I think I'm gonna head there, try to get that book that I'm looking for for a little birthday party and then also make the return at Sephora because this bronzer was too expensive not to work. I got the Merit Beauty one and I swear when I put it on my hand, it was so dark, so pigmented. The second I put it on my face, it's like not only did it wipe off whatever foundation I had on my face, but it also looked transparent. Like I couldn't even see a tint of it. And I'm like, I got two shades for that reason. Cause I said, oh, maybe this one's gonna be too dark let me get two just to play around no neither one were dark enough like they just weren't dark at all so i'm not keeping that if i'm never going to use it so i'm going to return those two i ended up checking the return that i had to make for amazon and it turns out it had to be sent in by the first and it's the ninth today so very much late on that i'm not getting my money back but it's okay it was like 13 dollars. it was for the mop that i have the handle ended up breaking on my last one and I ended up just throwing it away and I bought some new replacement handles but then I ended up just buying a whole new mop. Honestly, just it didn't matter at that point. So I have extra now just in case I guess. I got gas, I went to Staples, I went to Home Depot, got my money back there at least. We are on our way to Sephora and Barnes and Noble.
Okay, so I'm at Barnes & Noble and I'm looking at all the different options here. There's a lot on dinosaurs. Like, I think this is this one. This one would be pretty cool. It has a lot of facts and stuff like that. But I'm not really looking for dinosaur things. I'm looking for something that is a little bit more current to him because he does want to be a zoologist. I found this one. It's called the photo arc. It's kind of like digging through it a little bit and it shows like similarities between certain animals, opposites, and it has some really interesting pictures here which I think he would think are super cool. But I want something that's a little bit more age appropriate for him because some of these facts he's not like he's a really smart kid don't get me wrong but I want something that is more than just like a picture, I guess. That would make more sense. Okay, so I finally found the kids section with all the animals. I'm thinking maybe getting him this one. It's animals all across, so it's not like a specific one. His parents said he really likes reptiles, but if I can't find anything that has to do specifically with reptiles, then I'm just gonna end up getting this one. And it kind of has a little bit of everything. So you have snakes, you have birds. And so this might be the best option. I'm still looking though. I literally just got to the section, but that's the first one that stood out to me. And then I'm gonna get him this little dissection kit and it's a glow in the dark gecko. I thought this would actually be really cool. So I'm gonna get him this one as well. Everything's kind of like thrown around here a little bit. Um, There's a lot of things on dinosaurs, which I'm not trying to get. Let's see, there's bugs more dinosaurs there's literally nothing but dinosaurs here i don't see anything on reptiles so i'm just gonna get him the general bug that has to do with the animals what is this oh this is for like little little oh my gosh that's actually pretty cool oh that's so cute $50. Okay, I just left the mall. So I'm done with Sephora and Barnes Noble. I made my return and bought part of the gift. So far, I think what I have for him is actually pretty cool for what he likes. So I'm really happy about that. And I cannot even begin to explain to you guys how beautiful of a day it is today. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today, which I'm so happy about. We're finally kind of like getting over the cold a little bit, even though it's supposed to rain this weekend. I honestly don't understand the weather at this point. But for right now, we are taking advantage of beautiful weather. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today, and I believe also on Thursday. So I think on Thursday, we're going to go to my mom's house to swim. Hopefully, it's not that windy by my house anymore. I'm supposed to watch Ella today. Chastity asked me um, if I could watch her while she goes to CrossFit. So I'm going to babysit her today around four o'clock ish so the sun will still be out hopefully it's not windy by my house and i can take ella for a beautiful walk outside i'm like really excited to enjoy this weather today nikki and lauren are actually at the beach today which i'm so jealous but if i can at least get in a little bit of a walk with ella tonight that's gonna be great some banana orange ice cream and I'm about to taste it. It looks really good and really creamy so hopefully she likes it too. We're enjoying the beautiful weather and she looks like she's getting really tired right now. So we're gonna be out here just a little while longer. Let her wear herself out a little bit. She looks so relaxed right now. So after this, we're gonna go in for a nap. Okay, so it is Thursday. I ended up skipping a couple of days. I think that I last left off when Chastity and Ella came over to my house and I ended up watching Ella for a few hours that night and then I just ended up hanging out with Chastity the rest of the night. So I just didn't really pick up my camera. I didn't really do much after that. So I just decided to pick up my camera this morning instead. So right now what I'm gonna do is I desperately, desperately need a car wash. So I'm gonna go do that and then I do have to go to the post office and drop off a package. And from there, I'm gonna go to my parents' house 
else because all of us are just gonna be swimming the entire day. It's supposed to rain on Saturday, but these last few days have been absolutely perfect with the weather, so we're trying to take advantage of the sunshine while we can. I am wearing my bathing suit underneath this. Right now, I'm wearing this like matching set that I got at Target a few years ago. It's actually a pajama set, but I use it just like a regular set and I don't know, I wear it all the time. Okay, so this is the tanning oil that I use and I've shown you guys this one before. It's called Carrot Sun and I actually bought it before Hawaii and it ended up working out really well for me. Like it gave me a really nice glow and it just, I don't know, it works really good. It wasn't the cheapest, but it lasts a really long time. I did end up using it all summer and I would use it before going on a run. I used it before going to the pool. I used it all of Hawaii and that's literally how much it still has. So... A little bit goes a long way, I will say that. If you're looking more for like a sunscreen type of bronzer, this is the one that I use. It's called Australian Gold and it's the one that Nikki recommended to me. It has SPF 30 and it really does help you bronze. This one comes with both. It'll help you bronze and it'll still protect you from the sun. And then my tried and true Maui Babe Browning Lotion. I've been using this thing for years. I've repurchased it throughout the years and I bought it originally the first time we went to Hawaii, which was almost four years ago. And... I, it just works really well. I do like it. It spreads really nicely. It's not like super thick, super oily. So these are the three options that I generally tend to gravitate to. And right now this one's my favorite, but if I'm going for a run or something, I do like to use this one just as like a really quick layer. And then I'll generally use this one like right before the pool or something. But this one, like if I want, you know, a darker tan and I know I'm going to the beach or something, I'll wear this one, but I'm gonna try it out today because it seems to be the strongest out of these three. So yeah, I'm pretty pale. I really, really need it. Okay, I'm finally at my mom's house and it is burning out here, so I honestly can't wait to jump in. I don't even think I'm gonna go in gradually, I'm just gonna fully throw myself in there. Al is just getting her sunscreen on and she has like this little floater thing that she has to shade, so she's ready to go in and we're just waiting for everybody else to come out. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Oh, Yay. oh. I love her rash card. Yay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Double dog dare you. So. My mom made us some banana ice cream and I had mine topped with cinnamon and it seriously smells so good. Chesky had hers with honey, but I'm excited for this one. It actually smells like rice pudding. Again, Chas, you've Close lost everything. Nikki won. My mom made a really good salad right now. It's primarily fruit, but there's some carrots in there, some cucumber, we have spinach, kale. So it looks like a really refreshing salad. I've been tanning for a while now, so I might end up a little bit burnt after this. But everybody else is kind of in the jacuzzi area. Lauren's tanning and reading her book. And then my dad and my brother-in-law are over here relaxing. My boyfriend should be on his way later on. Right now, the weather is perfect. I think it was like 86 degrees today, so it was definitely the perfect day to be outside. We did not want to miss the opportunity to jump in the pool, so we're all just really relaxed out here. I took a small nap, and I think I'm getting darker. That's the goal, but we'll see by the end of this. Good morning, everybody. 
Today is Friday and it is currently 6.35. I honestly tried my hardest to wake up at 5 a.m. today and I absolutely could not do it. I really want to try working on like retraining myself to wake up that early again because when I was waking up at that time, I felt my most productive. I felt the least stressed. I felt like I had so much time for myself and I've been waking up anywhere from like 7.30 to 8 o'clock lately and I just really need to get back on time with waking up on like a decent time. At least like decent enough for me. I know 7.30, 8 o'clock probably isn't the latest for some people, but to me, I felt my absolute best waking up at like 5, 6 o'clock. So today, I got out of bed around 6.20, 6.25. And the reason I got up so early today was also because my family is actually going to the beach today. My boyfriend is going to meet at my house at 9.45. And then we're going to meet at my parents' house at 10.15. And we're going to head out from there. We do also have to make sure to be back at a decent time. Because at 6.30, we do have a children's ministry meeting at church. And literally, all of us are involved in the children's ministry somehow. My mom... All three of my sisters, my boyfriend and I are all in the children's ministry. So we all have to be at the meeting tonight. So it kind of works out that we're all a part of it so that everybody's on track with coming home early. And I've actually been working on this challenge for like walking every single day. And yesterday I did five miles and I wanted to start doing five miles every day. I don't think I'm going to get that in today just because I, I don't have time for it. I don't know, I'll see how far I can get with how much time I can kind of like stretch. So we'll see, we'll figure that out. I don't wanna go too far from my house. Yesterday I actually did end up going a little bit far out. So today, since I'm pretty short on time, I think I'm just gonna use my treadmill. It is pretty cold, so I'm gonna put on a sweater because this is literally just like a sports bra and then I'm wearing my Fabletics leggings and yeah, we'll head out. was literally like right on that mat but this girl just loves to splash the entire perimeter every single time she takes even just like the smallest sip of water so i figured there's not much walking in this section right here i wouldn't be like stepping all over it she's in her crate which i really don't care because i wash that blanket anyway but as long as she's like out here jumping on the couch and stuff like that i want to make sure that she has a little diaper on poor baby okay so i'm running super late and my boyfriend is waiting for me downstairs but this is my outfit i actually really like it i'm just wearing this striped old navy button up with these pants from i want to say target i got these a while ago i have them in two different colors um, but I honestly really like the white and I'm going to be wearing my Birkenstocks just because it's going to be comfortable. This is the fit. I hope I'm not too cold, but just in case I am, I'm taking my Good American coat, so this should keep me warm. Nikki's That's new why read. I know it's going to be easy for me to read. <laughs>
Ati True Food Kitchen and I've never been here or my boyfriend but my family has and they said it's really good. Lauren really likes the burgers so I'm gonna check Yelp for some pictures because I always have to see it and then we'll see what we end up deciding. Do it while they're not looking, Nikki. <laughs> I got the bison sausage pizza with a fried egg on top. coming to Corona Del Mar. Glenda's already in the water. We set up two tents, one for like the adults and then Ella's is right there. Nikki and Lauren are already playing volleyball so I'm gonna go catch up to them. I'm actually so mad at myself because I left in such a hurry that I didn't even grab a bathing suit because I honestly thought it was gonna be super cold. I thought it was gonna be gloomy all day. The weather literally said it was gonna be in the 60s all day and it actually feels hot here. So I'm mad at myself for being the only one that didn't bring bathing suit, but it's fine. I can still play volleyball in the clothes that I'm in. Now we're just gonna enjoy the day and relax. Do you love the beach? Your Nino, your Nina, your sisters, and mom, we love the beach. You wanna put them on? Yay! <laughs> You're laughing at <laughs> So it's around 3.45 right now and we have our teachers meeting around 6.30. So it's gonna take us about an hour and 15 minutes to get to my parents' house and then from there everybody wants to like freshen up a little bit and I think we're gonna make it to church right on time. So we're literally just heading out now. Hey guys, today is Saturday and I was completely exhausted this morning from yesterday's events. I literally, like I didn't do a ton but I did wake up early. I started walking, I did like my detox routine, and then we headed to the beach. We were there, um, I wanna say until like, I think we left the beach around four o'clock, and then we ended up getting so much traffic, it was like an hour and a half of traffic, we finally got home, and literally just in time to like grab a jacket and then head to church for our teachers meeting. So it was for like the entire children's ministry, all the teachers, every department had to be a part of it, and then kind of just going over like house rules, reminders, new, programs that were implemented things like that so that was cool um but i was completely exhausted by the time i got home and i came home i literally just grabbed something to eat came home went back to my mom's house and we had work on some plans for work so i ended up coming home around like 10 o'clock and i was out by 10 30. i was so tired and this morning i really needed to sleep in so i woke up around 8 15 and so i woke up kind of had a slow morning to myself took my time i went on a five mile walk very proud of that and i'm finally feeling like walking is part of my routine again it felt so good i took sky with me she's getting so much better on our walks just because she has so much energy and she wants to sniff every single little thing so what i did what my boyfriend told me to do was i just had her close to me with i bought her like one of those retractable leashes so that i could keep her close to me so that i can kind of train her out of that and i would just tug on her like i wouldn't like yank it or anything but i would just like tug on the leash every so often so she got the hint to like and i would just tell her like look up every time i would tug and literally it probably took like the first 15 minutes and she was so good for the rest of the walk so i would obviously let her take time to sniff what she needed to sniff as far as like poles trees fire hydrants things like that like big things like that but i didn't let her sniff all over the grass because then we would be there for like a whole hour so i just wanted to make sure that she was constantly looking up instead of always like pulling at me when we were walking so she did so good this morning she was wiped out by the time I got home and I just ended up getting ready and I'm actually on my way to my great grandma's birthday party. I'm not sure how old she is, but I'm not even joking. She's like literally almost 100. I think she's like 99, I want to say. 99. 
I'm not sure. She might even just be 100 already. Like, she doesn't even know her age. Like, that's a story in itself. But, yeah, she is well and able. Homegirl loves to shop. She cannot be stopped. Like, she's all over the place. So much energy. But um, I'm on my way to her birthday party right now. And then I'm going to leave there once we're done. And we are heading to a rodeo today. I'm very excited. So I came dressed as if I was already going to the rodeo just because as soon as I'm done with the party, I'm gonna go home, my boyfriend's gonna pick me up, and then from there, we're gonna get food and then head to the rodeo. It should be a fun night. I'm gonna head over there. We have family coming in from Mexico, so they're all there already. And I don't think I'm gonna film while I'm there, but I will pick up the camera again for sure by the time we go to the rodeo.